Cool, cool. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Bows to the uh, Making the Snake Bow Build Along Part 4. So in this video, what we're probably going to get to is uh, tillering, and we're going to do the first couple. Uh, I'm hoping we can get some uh, the string on by the end of this video, because we already have the limbs bending at this what point. What type of string? Sorry, we have a fire over there. What type of string uh, do you use? In this video, most of the bow strings I use are nylon. This is actually probably a heavier one than I need. Mm -hmm. This, so how much poundage is that? You I'm going 90? for a 40. Yeah, this this can handle up to 90 pounds. So, you know. So still don't try to sit on it. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah but this can handle heavy. up to about 90. Uh, this I'm going hopefully is going to be 40 or 50. I'm going to till. I'm going to uh, before I put the string on though. I'm going to do some pre-string tillering, and then we're going to actually do the other. Part. Yeah. All right then. So. Let's see which side is bending more. Here, actually, Peter, you're going to do this part. So Peter's going to bend it, and I'm going to see which side is bending more than the other. Now, I don't want you to bend too much, just a couple. And no, why would you do it that way, like this? Oh, uh, what's he doing wrong, oh, no, Devrush? What are you doing? Devrush, what's, yeah. what's he doing wrong in this? In He's this. putting his leg over. I don't need that yet. That's how you string the bow. Is he trying to be a, a witch or something? Good, Devrush, to meet your standards. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Devrush rage quitting. Now just uh, now wait wait wait. Now only a couple inches. All right, Peter. Now let's see what let's see what it looks like. All right. Yeah yeah I can see. If you guys can see that correctly, it would seem that the bottom limb is bend bending more than the top limb. Okay. It looks yeah. like it. Just go on killer, bro. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now you can see the bottom limb also has just a little bit of a reflex on the tip. We're gonna address that later. Anyway, right now we're using the knife, but later we're gonna uh, swing to the uh, wood rasp after we get the string on. Right now, there's I think there's still a good amount of wood I gotta take off from this bottom wood. Hey, boo, the bench is blocking it. I'm not moving, no, you move. Good, good. Can you see it from there? Raj, don't hurt yourself. Careful, bro. Watch out for barrels. Please, please don't make that kind of reference. He gets annoyed whenever you make a reference. In the video, yes. Is Jennifer by? Yeah, this one is actually a lot thicker, I can see. Be right back. Rush, don't cut your finger off that I'm doing this. So, Dev Rush, how about how long did it take to get all this wood off, apparently? To this point? Yes. Like from start? Yes. Well, work time, I'm not sure how many hours, but like in total weeks, uh, I haven't worked on it every day, but I've worked on it maybe every other day, so to get it to this point, four weeks. Not bad. But not of constant work. Hey, like you, you, never told, you never told the audience who's actually filming this. I think they know. How? If any of if they're following the snake bow build along, you were in the it. first one, Anthony. Please subscribe to Crypto Master at 1001. <laughs> I got some I'm advertising, Devrush. How's that make you feel? I actually don't mind. Hey, Devrush, stop tillering for a minute. <laughs> you did it again. Oh, oh, do it again. I missed it. I missed that. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get, get this time. Does this have anything to do with the video? Do it, do it, Perhaps. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Devrush, go on. <laughs> Messing with it. Okay, as you see, Dev Rush is cutting the wood. All right, let's see how it's going now. I think we got it a good deal. <laughs> see, once you're friends with these guys for long enough, this is kind of a norm. And don't worry, the flying projectiles are not hurt in the making of this film. No. That includes the ball and the stick. Yeah, whatever. 
Devraj doesn't well, care about worry, knives. I'm not abusing knives. I just. Are you Devraj? Are you? All right. So, Peter, I need to. Uh, he ran away. <laughs> but don't worry. We, we get another after that. All right. So. See, just right. see, Devraj. Spending a lot more down there now. It's good. Raj is feeling very happy about his bow, you could see. Just I'm gonna try Peter to bend it again. Yo, Peter! Yo, Pete boy! Get over here! Seriously? Oh, oh, let's get let's get a close-up on this. Is this required? Dun, dun, dun. Alright, Peter, I need you your, remember. I need your help now. Now bend it again for me. Come on, let me get a view. Can you just put Kara there? Cause you're gonna like drop Kara or something. She's fine. Please give money to the Save the Knife Foundation. To stop Devrajes from abusing knives. I'm sorry. Okay, I was hoping it would go in the How's ground. That? And... Oh, that's nice. I think we're gonna switch to the string now. I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that's you see, it's, get over it, here. You see, kids, you shouldn't do this at home because unless you've been doing this for a lot of years, like Peter, you'll probably drop your rabbit. <laughs> They, they have their. I'm gonna pet the rabbit. Pet the rabbit. Get the rabbit. Sorry, just skinning the hand a little. Sorry. All right then, we're gonna put the string on. So Watch I'm this. gonna this cut is, the grooves. This is and then, uh, stuff. So we'll be right back. So we're gonna cut the grooves and we'll be right back. All right. Sorry. Okay, is on. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, guys, so I'm gonna show you real quick in case you didn't know how to make the groove. So I'm just using my uh, this army knife. Love this thing. It's. It's good. It's really good for this because it's just like the perfect thickness. So um, what I'm gonna be doing is here. Get a close in. I'm using this log at, for my advantage. It's raised, so it makes it easier. Put my foot over here. Here, Anthony, get in here. Let me get over. Oh, there. Me to be at a different. Okay, yeah, that, that works. All right. So you see, I'm going at this angle here. I'm going at. I'm not making like at a straight cut like that because the string can split the wood then because of the grain. You want to make an angle, uh, cut maybe a 45 degree angle like this. Something around 45 degrees. This actually could be a little thinner, the head. Yeah. We'll worry about that later. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, Christ. Alright, then let's just widen it a little bit at the top. Because the string, the string I'm using is a little bit on the thick side. I actually don't need a string that heavy for this. Because it's only I'm only going for maybe like 50 pounds or something. But it's alright. You know, I mean... It's just the right thickness when I, for what I can see for arrow knocks, for modern day knocks, so it'll still work. Okay. And if I need to, I'll make a new string later. So then I'll finish this, like I said before, and come back when I'm done. Uh, hey guys, it's uh, me again. Dev Raj from Survival Bows. Make sure you guys got a good angle there. This is back to the uh, snake bow build along for, uh, is it part four now? I think so. Yeah, it's the same video as the other one. Sorry, I, as you can notice, my friends are here and I'm at my house. That's because um, we weren't able to finish what we were doing in time before I was picked up. So I'm going to continue what I, uh, what you guys just saw right now. So as you can see, the bow has the first string on. It's not very, the brace height is low right now. Not to worry. It's just for tailoring. We're not, oh yeah, I got a new string for this. Because I just, since I'm gonna have the extra time to show you guys all this, I decided I might as well just uh, use a, the more appropriate string. This is like a 40 pound limit, but you can make it go up to 50. It still handles it, I've noticed. At least when it comes to bows. So this is 40 pound limit string, but this bow is not going to be more than 40 pounds anyway, so it's perfect. Now, something I was really, really hoping wouldn't happen. Oh, sorry, holding it upside down. Let me show you guys this. Okay. You see, this is when I hold it straight. You see how off that string is? Now then, if I move it a little bit like that, that's better, you know? Here, look, I'll show you that angle. And it's not too off. So what I'm doing right now is I'm changing the plane so that it's that. Because I originally when I planned it out, it was going to be like this anyway. I must have cut off at a different angle by accident. But thankfully, I think there's still enough to work with. Like when I hold it like this and I put it against the mirror, the growth rings actually seem to be like the top layer where the growth rings are. It seems to be straight enough. Like see? 
you guys you guys probably can't see that what I'm seeing is that basically the growth rings are still facing the top and I'm doing this so all the only thing that's sticking out is this little um, right here this little sliver of wood but that's on the uh, other uh, bottom side anyway so I can just chop that off it won't matter if it's a little thinner there it's not bending there anyway so I have to change the plane so that this thing bends this way so I'm gonna do that real quick right now and show you guys hold on let me get my uh, rasp I'm using the rasp for this guys my uh, wood rasp basically what I'm doing is that I'm like you see how the wood is now on the bottom perfectly flat here well here it's at a just a bit of an angle if I change the angle so that it's at a flat plane here I think this bow will work so I'm basically just rasping down the excess here that, so that the slope is down flat I, d I don't have to rasp too much thankfully so I don't think the weight will be too low uh, let's see where we get alright I'll, I'll get back to you guys in a couple minutes okay alright guys so now then let's see what we have so far I did what I said I was gonna do now I'm holding it like this I redid the handle a little bit see so it's a little comfortable there and I reworked the plane it might be a little hard to see there but it looks much better now except for the bottom portion right here which is still curved a little bit the rest of it seemed to work pretty well and the other side actually had to do even less I think I did this side first and I may have been on the original plane there so I barely had to move it at all um, so that actually worked out pretty decently well I hope this is gonna work now it should work ah hold on okay guys sorry about that again I don't know why people keep calling me while I'm doing these just apparently it happens I can't control that though so anyway then I also uh, want to show you guys worked on the handle a little bit more made it more comfortable now to use this way see I repositioned the thumb spot so now let me make sure you can see that correctly it is pretty decently comfortable to hold it that oh sorry that doesn't look very comfortable from the way I was it's pretty decently comfortable to hold it this way seems pretty natural you know so anyway though the reason we made this video before was for the tillering right I'm sorry though this kinda interfered in that process but um, as you guys can see now in the limbs they're decently even now the thing is though this limb here has a reflex at the end. If you don't know what that means, it's similar to a recurve, except basically what it is is that when this bow is normally unstrung, the limbs are straight. That's not a normal, maybe a normal long bow, right? If I didn't explain this before, a reflex or a deflex, a reflex is basically curving the limb outwards, like, um, you see how this is like curved a little bit unstraight, like it's curved uh, outwards? Now, that basically means that. The limb has to work that much extra to be pulled to full draw and it just adds that much more stored energy. I have to do the same thing to this limb because this limb turned out to be pretty normal. No reflex or deflexes I can see. This limb on the other hand had a pretty decent reflex. I'm not probably going to reflex that much more. I doubt I will. I mean I like it as it is. I don't really think I want to reflex this bow too much. You know I just want it to work first and then I'm going to reflex that end. Um, I'll have to do that before I do the tillering video, so I'm sorry guys. We weren't able to tiller the video bow in this video, but at least if you had the same problem as I just had, you may have, you saw me do, refix the limb, limbs, so now it's a little bit more centered, and hopefully you guys won't make the same mistake I did. So, uh, thanks for tuning in to Survival Bows, and until the next video guys, see you.